Hello and welcome to the tutorial on negative numbers. In this tutorial we're going to cover numbers before and after. Now the best way to explain this is using the number line. So let's draw our number line over here. Now when you're doing similar questions you can also do the same thing even when you're doing an exam or a test. Our number line has got zero in the middle and on the right hand side we're going to write down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our number line goes from zero to eight. Now on the left hand side we're going to do the negative numbers. Now we did this in a previous tutorial, so in this one I'm just going to write them down. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. To understand these better, please refer to the previous tutorial. Just need to extend the yellow line a bit further and there we go. So there is our number line. It actually runs not from 0 to 8, it goes from minus 8 to 8. Now suppose the question that is being asked is this one here. What number comes after 4? What number comes after 4? Let's put a question mark. Now on the number line, we know this. This is a very simple one. We've got number 4 over here. The number after, and don't forget we're going to the right, is 5. So the number after 4 is 5. Now we are going to Go through our second question. This time round, we want to know the number after minus 3. So, what is the number after minus 3? First, let's find minus 3. Here it is, minus 3. Now, the number after now, you'll be thinking that the number after should be minus 4. Well, if you draw the number line, you know that you're not going to the left. You're actually going in this direction, the same as we did over here. The number after, the next number is always on the right-hand side. So the number after is minus 2. So the number after minus 3 is minus 2. Now that looks a little bit strange, but have a look at the number line. It shows you very clearly that we're going one step to the right. We've taken one jump to the right. Let's look at let's look at one more. Now this time round we want to know the number before the number before minus 5. So what is the number before minus 5? Now if you don't look at the number line you'll be thinking well that's easy it's minus 4. Well is it? Let's have a look at our number line. So where is minus 5? Let's find minus 5 first. Now don't forget, to the right was after. If we're looking for the number before, we have to go to the left. So to the right is the number after. We take one jump to the left, which is the number before. So we're on minus 5 
And we're going to take one jump. Here we go, one jump. And the answer is minus six. So the number before is minus six. Now be very careful when you're working with minus numbers. With negative numbers or minus number, numbers, you can call them either one. So the number before and number after. Practice this with the number line. Once you've done that, you'll be able to work through these without the number line.